Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, this is a short, simple tutorial on how to make a trustee sale. We're using free software, Paint.net, and if you haven't done so already, just go and download Paint.net, you'll see the link below, and also the seal files. You're going to need the seal files and the links below as well. So before you proceed, just go and download those two files and come back and watch the video. Okay, and once you've downloaded them, you should have paint.net on your desktop, a zip file, and another one called seal files. Now first we'll open paint.net, and you'll see in there the installation file paint.net. You double click that to install and just follow the prompts. It's pretty easy. I won't install it again because I've already installed it. And there it is there, paint.net. So you'll end up with an icon like that on your desktop once you've installed. Okay, next step, we'll open seal files. And you'll notice two files in there, circle text and seal blank. Now I'll select those and put them on the desktop and close that now and we have the circle text and seal blank. Just click and drag those over here, make them easier to work with. And okay, so we've got to put this circle text into paint.net how we do it, we open my computer, go C drive, go down to program files, double click that, um, scroll down to paint.net, there it is, you double click that, and then up the top you'll notice a folder called effects. So that's C, Program Files, Paint.net, Effects. Now, double click the Effects folder, and that is where we're going to put the special effects known as Circle Text. Click and drag that, drop that in there. If it asks you want to continue, just continue, and there it is. So now we've, we've put Circle Text into Paint.net as an effect. Okay, we can close that now. And now we're ready to make the seal. So let's double click paint.net that we've installed. And there it is, paint.net. Opens up. It's just a basic uh, uh, editing program for photos, pictures, whatever. So we'll go to seal blank, which we've got here on the desktop, and click and drag it straight into paint.net. And we'll select the first option, open the image. Open the image, and there it is. Trustee seal blank. And you'll notice the blank part is the bottom here. This is where our trust number will go. So the first thing we do is you'll notice over here the primary color. It's black at the moment. Um, we want to select a color for the text that's similar to this text that's already on your seal. So click More, and you'll notice all these color dialogues pop up. Now on the right here, there's one that says Hex, and this is where we're going to put our hex number. It's 98 with four zeros. Now I've already got all zeros there, so I'll just put 98 at the front, four zeros. And you'll notice the colour now has changed. Our primary colour is the same as that on the seal. So to get that out of the way, we'll just click up here, less. Okay, so our colour selected. And now our effects is what we click on at the top. Effects. Scroll down to text formations. And there's the plugin we installed earlier, circle text. So click that to open it. I always get a, a font error here. 
because I haven't got that font installed. So I'll get rid of that. And that reminds me to put Arial as the font. So yeah, the font we'll be using for the trust number is Arial. Um, now we'll just click and drag this box over to the side for now so we can see what happens with our seal. Now up the top here in text is where you enter your trust number. So I'll just put in the 1 to 6 example number. So you put your trust number at the top. Arial is the font. You can already see numbers appearing here. Um, now the next one is font size 18. I click it up to. Okay, then you've got bold, italic, you don't select those. Center is fine. I leave clockwise for now. That's ticked, but we'll untick it later. You do these three slider controls here first. Okay, and the first one is radius. And I click that up to 158. So that's 158, 158 for radius. The next one down is angle of arc. And what, what all these do is adjust the numbers here so they fit perfectly on the seal. So for angle of arc, I put in here 131.2. That's 131.2. And the next one down, angle of start. And this will be the, our last setting here. And I put minus, and that's a dash on your keyboard, minus 61.8. That's 61.8. Okay. And once I've said that, the last thing I'll do is I'll untick the clockwise here. And you'll notice that our trust number text is perfect fitted within our trusty seal and that's pretty much it so once you get those numbers in and you untick the clockwise make sure you put your trust number at the top Arial font font size 18 uh, that's pretty much it and then we can click OK down the bottom here to seal our number and there it is ok so now you could save a copy of that by going up the top here, File, Save As. I always like to use Save As. Then you can save it as whatever you like. OK. And it says here, Seal Blank. Well, I like to save things on the desktop, so... Uh, seal Blank. And you can call it whatever you like. You can call it um, your trustee dash seal trusty seal dash original and then you can save that somewhere as the original um, it'll come up with a save configuration it's on auto just that's fine it should save it fine and then you just click OK and that's done so if I minimise that, I'll look at my desktop and you'll see there's the file that we just saved. Trustee Seal Original. And you can save that somewhere in your drive, drive for safekeeping and, um, and then pull it out whenever you need it and, and resize it to fit. Um, so we'll double click that and just have a look. And there it is, um, just in the picture viewer. And that's, a, that's just under 400 pixels in size. So now if we go back to our paint.net where we've saved, uh, edited the program, the um, seal. Um, now if you like you can save it in a couple of different sizes and for different purposes. So for example, image is the menu we want at the top. Resize. And I like 180 here. So if you just put 180 pixels for the width, it's a nice size, I think, for, for 
the documents on paper and just see how that comes out. I just leave everything default, best quality, um, everything, and then just click OK. And you'll see our seal's been resized now to 180 pixels wide. And I'll save a copy of that file, save as, and I'll save it as um, Trust Seal. That just reminds me it's 180 pixels wide. Save. And again, OK. Right. And then if you go on the desktop, there it is there, Trust Seal 180. And that's the size for documents. Now, if you wanted a size to upload to the University of Bucadia, um, you can go back to the original. Up here is an undo button. It's a back arrow. Or you can click up here, edit, undo, same thing. And you undo it and come back to the previous size. And now I'll close the program to show you what you can do in the future. So we won't save anything else. We'll open our original. Okay, that's the one we'll be using. So, we'll open paint.net. Okay, and I can move that over to that trust seal original. Click and drag. I'll drop that in. Open the image. And there it is. Okay, so that's the large original that we initially saved. And now I can save that any any size I like. I'll just go image, resize. Now I would make the height 100. This is for the size if you want to load it up to U of U. Height 100, you'll find width 98. Click OK. And that's a nice small size um, to upload as an avatar onto U of U. And once again, file, save as, and you can save as whatever you want. Trust seal 100. Save. Again, auto settings, just click OK. Alright, so now we've got a few sizes there, and that's the last one we saved, the 100. When we open that, you see it's the nice small size seal. So yeah, that's the one you can upload. So I think that's the end of our tutorial. And you can print that seal. You can you can upload it and use it for your important documents for your trust. And uh, I thank you all for bearing with me. And enjoy. Thank you.